In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the class diagram for the topic Hospital Management System. So the first step is you need to select the classes that you are going to draw, which is related to the hospital management. At least 5 to 6 classes or 4 to 5 classes you are supposed to draw in a class diagram. So for hospital management system, what could be the classes? Definitely hospital should be a class because in hospital management system first the hospital should be present the building should be present that is the base so hospital is a class so how will we represent a class we have to draw a box and divide it into three parts three boxes so inside the first box i'm supposed to write the name of the object so the first object of the class, I'm taking it as hospital. The second box, in the second box, I'm supposed to write the attributes. Attribute is nothing but characteristics of this object, hospital. I just have to put like this, a sign like this. Then I have to write the attributes. Hospital will have a name. So name of the hospital is an attribute. Next put colon like this and I have to write its data type string. String is nothing but alphabets or characters. In names you will be having alphabets and characters which is the letters alphabets. So that will be denoted by the data type string. Next hospital will have an address. So I need to put a symbol like this and write address. So the data type of the address is also string because you will be writing some name and the street like that you will be writing third street like that so that is all alphabets so address is also of the data type string next phone number hospital will have a common phone number to which you can call to which we can call and ask about the requirement of the doctors when in need or if we want to admit, we can ask whether the room is available in this hospital or not. So for those purposes, this phone number will be helpful. Or to ask some doubts regarding what the doc doctor has said. So all these things you can contact using the phone number of the hospital and get it clarified. So phone number is of data type number. Because it consists of numbers. So this is your second box. Final, the third box. In the third box, you need to write the operations which this hospital can do. I need to put this symbol. After putting this symbol, view data is the operation. And I have to put brackets like this. So this is the third box. So total three parts it will be divided into the class. So view data means view all the data of the hospital. Every data present in the hospital you can view and see regarding the medicines, regarding the availability of doctors, regarding the receptionist, regarding everything you can view using view data which is an operation of this hospital class. So this is your first class. You have to divide it into three parts and write like this. Next, second class. Next, definitely what is important. Doctor is important in a hospital. So, doctor is an object name. Second, what I have to write? I have to write the attributes of doctor. So, doctor will have a name which is of data type string. Next, doctor will have an employee ID which is a number. So every staff who is working in a hospital will be given an employee ID which will be unique. It should not repeat. If your ID is 25, the same ID 25, no other staff in the hospital will be having. So the employee ID will be given which is an attribute of this doctor object. So this data type of uh, employee ID is number because it is full of numbers. Next specialist doctor is specialist in which so string this is a string 
He is a specialist in which field? Is he a gynecologist or is he something else? So whatever he has done masters in that is a specialist of the doctor which is a string which is a name which has characters and alphabets so it is a string next what are the operations that the doctor can do put this symbol view doctor's info so doctor's info the doctor can view the doctor can see whether the details are filled in correctly he'll have an access to change the details to change the doctor details so those access will be given to the doctor which is one of the operations of a doctor next get salary so the doctor will be given a salary at the end of every month so get salary that is one operation next check patient so the role of the doctor is to check the patients so this is one of the operations next give prescription so after checking the patient the doctor will give a prescription to the patient so all these operations has to be performed by a doctor so doctor can change the information now for example if the phone number which the doctor has given he wants to make a change to it because he has changed to a new phone number he can go and make a change he can view what details he has given to the hospital next get salary he will get salary at the end of every month check patient his role is to check the patients next give prescription after checking and finding what the patient is undergoing he needs to prescribe the tablets he needs to prescribe the medicine to the patient so these operations can be done by a doctor next class so in a hospital doctor should be there next patient should also be there very important patient should be there so patient is one object name next what are the attributes of patient patient will have a name the data type of that is string next patient will have a phone number the data type of that is number next patient will have an age which is also a number you should ask for the age of the patient also because the dosage of the tablets which you prescribe you have you have to look at the age and only prescribe so that is also an important factor so age is an important factor without knowing the age you cannot just like that give some random medicines to the patients next sex of the patient whether the patient is a male or a female so that is a string because it is written in words male female so these are the attributes next what operations can be performed patient can make the payment so after visiting the doctor the patient needs to pay next receive the report so the doctor will give the report after checking the patient next book appointment book appointment means in order to see the doctor the patient must get the appointment earlier itself from the receptionist so these operations can be performed by the patient make the payment after what i mean after going and getting a solution from the doctor next receive the report the doctor will give a report of the health of the patient next book appointment in order to visit a doctor you have to get the appointment booked earlier so these are the object name attributes and operations of the patient class next important thing is drug so drug is one object name next what are the attributes of this every drug will have a name which is string data type next cost of the drug which is in number next quantity of the drug which is in number so you should know this tablet or this drug cost this much next the name of this drug is this next quantity 1000 
is there with me now, right now. So you should have a check of all these. You should know the name of the drug, the cost of that drug and how much quantity it is present. How much quantity is available right now in the medical shop. Next, check the availability. You need to check the availability of each and every single drug. Because every drug is useful in some other way. So you should be having the stock of every single drug. So you should check the availability of that. Next in the medical, they will provide drugs to the patient. Next, you need to get the payment. You need to pay to the medical. So these are the operations of a drug. Next class can be staff. Staffs working in the hospital. So the attributes can be name which is string type. Next ID like how doctor had employee ID like that every staff will also be having employee ID which is number. Next salary. Salary is also in number. So these can be the attributes of staff. Name of the staff, ID of the staff. Next salary of the staff. Next, assist the patient can be the operation. So, staff will assist the patient. So, if you want to fix an appointment with the doctor, you have to speak with the staff and get it fixed. Next, if you have any doubts, you can go and ask the staff. They will guide you on what to do next. So these are the five classes which we have drawn for hospital management system. Doctor, drug, staff, patient and hospital. So after drawing the classes, what we are supposed to do is we need to draw the association. We need to write the relationship between them. How to write the association to the same doctor, many patients will go. That is true, right? To the same doctor, many patients will go. So, I need to draw like this. I need to put a box like this, a diamond box like this. And I need to connect it with patients. Now, what we learn to the same doctor, that is to one single doctor, many patients can go. So, in the place of doctor, you need to put one. Because to one doctor, many patients can go. So, in the place of patients, you have to put one dot 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 star. This means many. Star means many. So to one doctor. So I have put one here. Many patients can go. So one dot 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 star. Star means many. Next. Many doctors are there in one hospital. In the same hospital many doctors are working. So I need to put a diamond box like this. And connect it with hospital. To one hospital. So in the place of hospital, I need to put one. To one hospital, I mean in one hospital, many doctors are there. So here I need to put one dot 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 star. Because in one hospital, there are many doctors. I hope you are able to understand this. Next, in one hospital, many staffs are there. In one hospital, many staffs are there. So, in the hospital, you draw like this from here to staffs. So, in one hospital, so I need to put one here near the hospital. Many staffs are there. So, one dot 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 star in the place of staff. So, in one hospital, many staffs are there. Next, one staff gives many drugs. One staff is giving many drugs. So, how will you draw this? I need to put a diamond here in the staff place and connect it with drug. So one I have to write in the place of staff because one staff can give many drugs, more than one drug. So one dot 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 many star I have to put. So I hope you have understood this. The first thing is to one doctor, to one single doctor, many patients will go. Second is in one hospital, many doctors will be there. Next, 
In one hospital, many staffs will be there. Next, a single staff can provide more than one drug. So this is the final class diagram for hospital management system. So this is the final class diagram. The first step is you need to identify the classes and minimum four to five classes at least you have to write. And then you have to divide the class into three parts. In the first part, you have to write the object name. In the second part, you have to write the attributes of that object. And in the third part, you have to write the operations that this object can perform. Next, after drawing all the classes, you are supposed to join them by association. I hope you have understood. Thank you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends.